to thy river, O Lord. Cause me to come to thy river, O Lord. Cause me to come to thy river, O Lord. Cause me to come, cause me to drink, and cause me to live. Lord, your word, I am listening to you. Speak, Lord, your word, I am listening to you. Speak, Lord, your word, I am listening to you. Speak to my mind, speak to my will, and speak to my Speak to my mind, speak to my will, and speak to my heart. In the midst of the church, he opened his mouth, and the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding, and clothed him in a robe of glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, today we are celebrating the feast of St. John, the evangelist and the apostle. St. John is known as the Apostle of Love. He experienced Jesus' love and he shared this love to his brethren. And he defined God as love because he experienced Jesus as love. Let us also experience God's love because this Christmas is the celebration of God's love. Emmanuel is the celebration of God's love. God loves us abundantly. And God sent his only begotten son to this world because of his love. Let us also experience God's love. In our daily life, very often we fail to experience God's love. Let us acknowledge that moment in our life and ask God's mercy and pardon. Say all together, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and, and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us all. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us all. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy on us all. Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us all. Lord have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. 
Glory to God on the highest and honor, peace to his people of good will. Glory to God on the highest and honor, peace to his people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. For your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, and Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit and the glory. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the blessed apostle John have unlocked for us the secrets of your word, grant we pray that we may grasp with the proper understanding what he has so marvelously brought to our ears through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading. A reading from the first letter of St. John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 4. Beloved, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen, with our eyes, which we have looked upon and have touched with our hands, concerning the word of life. The life was made manifest, and we have seen it, and testify to it, and proclaim to the eternal life, which was with the Father, and was made manifest to us, that which we have seen and heard, we proclaim also to you, so that you too may have fellowship with us, and indeed fellowship with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And we are writing these things so that our joy may be complete the word of the lord thanks, thanks be, be to, to god. god our response will be rejoice in the lord you just rejoice, rejoice in, in the, the lord, lord you just. just the lord is king let earth rejoice let the many islands be glad cloud and darkness surround him Justice and right are the foundation of his throne. Response, rejoice, rejoice in, in the, the Lord, Lord you just. just. The mountains melt like wax before the face of the Lord. Before the face of the Lord of all the earth, the skies proclaim his justice. All peoples see his glory. Response, Rejoice, Rejoice in the Lord, in the Lord you just. just. Light shines forth.
for the just one and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. To the memory of His holiness, give thanks. Response, rejoice, rejoice in, in the, the Lord, Lord you, you just. just. Kindly rise to welcome the gospel. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. The glorious company of apostles praise you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. Lord. Chapter 20, verses from 2 to 8. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus said loud and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial clothes there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial clothes, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, in today's gospel, we see that Peter and John ran to the tomb and they saw an empty tomb. Mary Magdalene, she also visited the tomb and she saw an empty tomb. But for Mary Magdalene, the empty tomb was a moment of desperation. She ran to Peter and John and said, they had taken the body of our Lord. But Peter and John, when they visited the tomb, they also saw an empty tomb. But that emptiness was a moment of faith. That emptiness was a moment of trust in Lord. And they believed that Jesus is resurrected. My dear sisters and brothers, many times we have to encounter the, this emptiness in our life. What is our response to the emptiness? Is it a moment of desperation or the moment of a faith? This empty tomb tells us that it is not the end of life. This tomb is not an end of life, 
but it is the beginning of a new life. Today we are celebrating the feast of St. John. When we go through this Bible passage, we see the character traits of St. John. Here, John mentioned himself as the one whom Jesus loves. This gospel is written by St. John. And St. John mentioned himself that the disciple whom Jesus loved, he was a feeling that Jesus loved me. John was loved by Jesus. And he was called the son of thunder. We see in Gospel of St. Mark chapter 3 verse 17. John and James, his brother, they were called sons of thunder. But the son of thunder became the apostle of love because John experienced God's love. So that he defined God as love. John experienced God's love. And the second character traits of St. John, we see that John and Peter, they ran together to the tomb. And John was younger than Peter. And John ran very fast. And he reached the tomb first. But he waited there for Peter. When Peter came, he went in. And then John. He respected the other. He respected the elder one. That was the character of St. John. Again, we see that he was a man of prayer. We see in Bible in different places, Jesus took him to Mount Tabor to pray. In the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 9, verse 28. Again, we see that Jesus took him to the Mount of Olives, Mark chapter 14, verse 33. He was a man of prayer. In Acts chapter 3, verse 1, we see that he went to temple to pray. He was a man of prayer. My dear sisters and brothers, Jesus entrusted his mother to John because he knew that John is a good disciple. When we celebrate the feast of St. John, let us also experience the love of God. Let us also be the apostle of love. And let us respect others. Let us respect the elders. And as St. John, let us also be a man of prayer. God bless you. Before you, Lord, I surrender all, and all that I have been through, I give it to you now. And though I have some questions, things I'll never understand, I come into your presence and I place them in your hands. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify the offerings we have made, Lord, we pray, and grant that from the banquet of this supper we may draw the hidden wisdom of the eternal world, just as from this same source you revealed it to your apostle John through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere. To give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God. For in the mystery of the word made flesh. A new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Save us Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohesed to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire earnestly to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there in my heart. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Jesus at the center of it all. Jesus at the center of it all. From beginning to the end. It will always be and it's always been you, Jesus, Jesus. Nothing else matters, nothing else this world will do. Cause Jesus
Jesus, you're the center And everything revolves around you Jesus, you at the center of it all The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us and from his fullness we have all received let us pray grant we pray almighty god that the word made flesh proclaimed by the blessed apostle john may through this mystery which we have celebrated ever dwell among us through christ our lord amen, amen. the lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit may almighty god bless you the father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go and serve our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. As I kneel before As I bow my head in prayer, take this day and make it yours and fill me with your love. Ave Maria, gracia. 